Hey everyone, welcome to the watercolor for the non-artistic card maker. It's Justine and today we're going to focus on masking and stenciling. This is a part of my free class where there's PDF files available on my blog. You can link up your projects as well and get a chance to win some prizes. Today I'm going to be featuring this card here where we're doing some stenciling over top of watercolor. This is a really quick and easy technique. You can use this as well with Distress inks. It would be no problem, but I'm going to be using my Gansai watercolor paints. I'm going to saturate my cardstock and I'm going to just use that water there. I want to get a fair amount of water on it without making it warp too much. And I'm just going to start in the bottom and layer a couple of different yellow colors towards the bottom, going from dark to light. I'm just kind of pouncing it on here right at the moment and the water will help me color it through so I'm just kind of going in a sort of circular motion and pouncing away. I do not want this to cover the entire card, I just want it to cover sort of a random area of it. And I'm going to plop down the stencil from Create a Smell Stamps. I'm also going to add a little bit of paint on top of it just to really get that stencil in there. And I'm just going to tape that down with some painter's tape or some washi tape or you can use stenciling tape and I'm just going to let that sit until it dries. As long as you don't put a ton of water on it, it actually shouldn't take very long to dry. Probably set it to the side for about 10-15 minutes and you should be good to go. I'm going to be stamping my sentiment on my watercolor panel here that I've created. So as soon as I take the stencil off, you'll see that the stencil made a really nice impression in the watercolors, but it's quite subtle in comparison to just using distress inks over top. That water really makes a big difference as to how it looks. So I played around with a couple of sentiments and then I decided on Make-A-Wish. I stamped this using VersaFine Black Onyx ink to get a really nice impression. And then I attached this panel onto my card base. My card base measures 11 by 4 and a quarter inches. It was folded in half at 5 and a half inches to make a top folding card. You could add 3D foam tape to make this panel stand up and that would probably also really help with warping of the watercolor paper so it doesn't warp your card base as well. The last finishing touch I'm going to add to my card are some Skittles. Now these are from um, So Susie Stamps and these are a yellow Skittle. I absolutely love these. These create a really nice 3D effect to your cards and gives it a little bit more than a sequin or a pearl. They're quite lar much larger and they look like they're made of glass. They may even be made of glass, I'm not quite sure. And you can see how much um, that gives there. So a final look at the card. If you're interested in any of the supplies used, are they're linked to below in the video description or on my blog. You can access my blog by clicking up at the top. Over on the right, you can subscribe to my channel or you can click on the moving video there to see my video from yesterday. Don't forget that there's giveaways and PDF files to download over on my blog, which is listed in the description below. Thanks for watching.